Hello, Ethel. Shh, shh, shh. What's up with you, Lord? Where have you been? I told you, I've been to pick up my willy. Now, don't start that again. Now, Sharon's got something to tell you. It isn't anything to do with your murderer, is it? No, it ain't. Just listen. Look, Ethel, you know how sorry we all were when we heard about Willie. And we know how important he was to you. And, well, we had a bit of a whip round. Everyone put something in. And we got you this. Ron? Willie the second. Yeah. What do you think, eh? Well, of course. He's lovely. We're not sure what sort he is, but he's been here all afternoon and he oh. is lovely. I don't want him. What? No, I'm sorry. I don't want another dog. Why? Well, it's not fair, you see. I mean, he's only a little baby. Who's going to look after him when I've gone? But you ain't going anywhere, Ethel. Well, of course I am, Sharon. I'm 76. I mean, him and me, we'd just get fond of each other and then I'd have to leave him, poor little thing. No, I can't do that. Are you sure? I'm absolutely certain. I'm quite happy with my Willie. Here she goes again. But you ain't got Willie no more, dear. But I have. But he's gone. Not altogether. Ethel, you don't understand. Dot, if you continue to treat me like a child of three, I shall forget that I'm a lady. Oh, how charming. I was only trying to help. Well, if you want to help everybody here, shut your cake hole. Oh, oh I say. <laughs> And if you want to prove it for yourself, look in there. Oh, I ain't looking in there. Well, it won't bite you. Well, someone have a look. I'll do it. Well, uh, she's right about it not biting. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I had it done from a snapshot. Save a fortune on dog food, wouldn't it? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? I would have done if I could have got a word in edgeways, but you kept on and on and on about your murderer. I say, I thought I'd put him on the wall just above my mantelpiece. <laughs> and now if you've all finished, I'd like a large pot and lemon. 